guys welcome back and for those of you that are new here my name is Yvonne and I do videos on lifestyle and home decor DIY so just a little bit of everything and for today's video I'm going to be decluttering my closet um, I wanted to start um, the new year 2021 with a fresh closet not necessarily fresh but with a decluttered closet just because I do go thrifting and I always you know tend to buy one or two like or sometimes three clothing clothing items so I just wanted to like declutter a bit and make more room for other things and what I wanted to do first is actually kind of show you what I have in my closet I'll be inserting a small clip of how my closet looks um, just because you can't see all of it right now but I'm just gonna like briefly go over a hat on how I have it organized um, I have it organized by short sleeve and then it just progresses all to long sleeve and then a few jackets at the end and up here in these blue boxes I don't know if you can see them barely um, I have my jeans I have blue jeans right here and then I have black jeans and then I have another one where I have like my shorts and then the rest is like just bags but anyways I still wanted to show you um, how I have my closet and then just take you along as I declutter it just because there are a lot of things that I don't wear but every time I want to get rid of it, I'm always like, okay, what if I wear it one day or I can wear it with this or that, right? But the thing is that I think I'm just kind of hoarding, especially when it's given to me, especially like if it's like for a birthday or Christmas or something. I kind of get in a way emotionally attached to that item, even though I know I'm not going to wear it. So um, I just want to get rid of some things and just kind of make room for new things because I'm kind of over having all those things in here and not wearing them so I'm gonna just take you along and then one thing I forgot to mention is I have my closet I don't know if you can really see the video but I have my closet kind of color-coded kind of like a I don't know I just like have like pinks right here a few whites and beige and then purples orange and reds, grays, blacks, a few blues right here, and then some greens, and then again I have whites but with like sweaters, cardigans, grays, sweaters and cardigans, a few pinks, and then yellows, um, greens, and then blacks at the end, which I kind of like doing that because it's a lot easier for me just to organize my closet and it looks more put together. Um, it kind of bugs me when things are out of order, so having them kind of like by colors has helped me a lot. I'm just going to go ahead, start looking through my closet, and then start taking things out. I'm going to speed up this part, and then once I'm all done, I'll show you at the end what I'm just going to take out. have a pile of clothes right here that I really haven't worn a lot if anything maybe some of these pieces I've worn like once or twice and haven't really gone back to them or I just kind of you know kept them because they were given to me for like Christmas or my birthday and I kind of felt bad throwing them out but other than that like I want to just kind of declutter my closet and pretty much declutter more rooms in my house just so I don't have so much junk and things I don't use um, one of the things I am getting rid of are these old faded um, jeans. These are from the brand Celebrity Pink. Um, they're faded. They're actually pretty comfortable, but I just kind of have I just haven't worn them this year. And then I have some from a brand called Wax Jean, and these are high-waisted black jeans. And these I've had for years, 
and they're super faded and like I said I just haven't gone back to them and the material is stretchy so I've kind of it's kind of made me like stay away from it just because I don't know they just feel different and then I think I'm gonna get rid of these Hollister pants these are have been with me for many years and I love them they're very comfy and they have like the you know the the, the rips and stuff the tears or whatever they're called but I just haven't really been wearing them um, it's probably been like a few months since I've worn them so I think I might just have to part ways with them even though I do love them but like I said I just haven't worn them so I don't know there's really no point in keeping them but I'm just gonna set it to the side just in case I change my mind and then I have these high-waisted dark blue jeans and these have been with me for maybe like four years already and I would wear them all the time but then I just stopped wearing them because the material started like to bug me because it's very stretchy and it's very thin so it doesn't really feel like denim and then they're also starting to fade like around the knee area so that's why I just kind of like started you know gravitating away from them I might just try making these into shorts since they are high-waisted um, let me know if you guys want me um, to kind of revamp some of this clothes give it some new life um, so I might just put make those into some shorts and then I have these from a brand called Blue Republic and these are pretty much like brand new in a way I've only worn them a handful of times but they're kind of loose around the waist and they are low rise and I oh and they also lost the button but the fact that they're low rise makes me you know just not want to wear them just because I'm not into low rise anymore and I'm more into mid rise high rise so these I'm just gonna have to um, mend, find the button for them, and then just um, get rid of them. And then these are from again a brand called Wax Jean, and these I believe were a gift for either my birthday or Christmas. But these have been with me for quite a few years, and I would wear them all the time. But they are low rise, so it just kind of makes me not you know reach for them anymore so these have to go because there's really no point in keeping them this shirt you probably saw in my thrift collection video this one i wore it once around the house since that video was made and other than that i haven't really reached for it so i'm thinking the best thing is for this one to just you know is just to part ways for with it so this one i will just be getting rid of it and then this gray long sleeve is very comfy um, there was a point where I used to be like into the like the over you know over the shoulder kind of exposed shoulder shirt and this one was perfect um, but I haven't really worn it at all this year maybe just like once or twice around the house um, other than that it's just been hanging in my closet so I think I need to part ways with it this jacket I love the color this color is just gorgeous um, I've had this jacket for I think a year or two and I wore it for a few times but the fact that it's not long and it just kind of ends right here um, I really don't like that so that's the one of the reasons I really don't wear it just because it's short right here and then it just ends and it I feel like it just makes the outfit look kind of awkward and it just makes I don't know it just makes me feel like feel short if that makes sense it makes me feel shorter than I already am so this one is one that's the main reason I don't wear it just because it ends kind of weird and then this jacket I've had for I think two years as well I love I love this kind of like style of um, jackets like the whole utility style oh my god my necklace is choking me but the thing I don't like about this one is that it attracts a lot a lot of lint and I don't know if you can see it but it is one of the main reasons I stay away from it because even if I take a lint roller to it by the time I leave the house there's already more lint on it in the car you know if anything touches I don't know it just it's it's a lint magnet so that's one of the reasons I I'm gonna get rid of it it's a gorgeous jacket it's you know worn it a few times but the fact that it's just a lint magnet it's you know it just kind of drives me away from it the next thing I have right here is this cardigan if you hear growling in the background those are my dogs they're growling for a toy 
they're fighting for it too actually but anyways this cardigan i would wear all the time especially during this time of year fall winter season just because i absolutely love cardigans and this was one of my first ones and it is a hooded cardigan it's in a good condition it's you know been gently loved used um but i just haven't used it in like a year or a year and a half um so i think it's time to part ways with it and it's super comfy but i just haven't used it so there's no point in me keeping it this um green shirt i bought it last year from marshall's the fabric is absolutely soft super super soft the only thing that drives me away from it is that it's not a fitted shirt um, I kind of I love when long sleeve shirts like you know are fitted and this one's more like on the looser side but the fabric itself is very soft and I love the color which is one of the reasons I got it but I haven't worn it I might keep it wear it around the house but I might but in that case I need to you know switch it to one of my drawers instead of having it in the closet but yeah I might just put that to the side for now up next is this sweater I've had for two years already and I worn them, you know, I wore them a few times, styled them, the, they're comfy to wear. The only thing that just kind of drives me away at times is that it kind of has like that shimmery, um, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but they're kind of shimmery. So I, that's the one of the main reasons I haven't really worn them. Same with this one. I love the style. They're comfy to wear. The colors, I love the colors. but and that you know they are shimmery so that kind of tends to drive me away they're you know i've only worn them like i said a few times and they're comfy but there's no reason in keeping them if i'm not gonna wear them right and then this long sleeve shirt i used to wear all the time because i love how it was like see-through and stuff like at the top you know but it was kind of different than anything i had at the time so i would always wear it and it also has this like pocket detail um but I just kind of stopped after a while just because I started getting into the, like I said earlier, the more of the fitted long sleeve shirts. And so this one is more on the looser side and also the fabric started to peel up a bit. So I just kind of, you know, stayed away from it. This shirt was my favorite like two summers ago. It was my absolute favorite. I love the flowers on it. I think they're daisies or something. I don't know my flowers but I absolutely loved it I love the sleeves on it but I just haven't worn it I didn't wear it at all this summer maybe because one of the reasons was that I really didn't go anywhere this summer pretty much stayed home so I you know a lot of my summer clothes I didn't really get to use but this one I've had for like two years it's absolutely gorgeous love it um, but I just I don't see myself wearing it again um, but it is really cute so I might just have to you know give it away donate it up next is this knitted sweater this one i had i want to say i've had it for like three three years um this was one of the first knit sweaters i kind of started my knit collection this one i wore it a few times actually a handful of times actually no it's actually more than a handful but um, I loved it. I would wear it, you know, especially during this time But the only thing that kind of drove me away eventually was that it's like it has like these little strings right here in the front To kind of you know make it longer to make the v-neck more, you know, I don't know wide or whatever, but That's one of the main reasons I haven't worn it if it was to just be kind of like a solid neck kind of like this You know just closed like a crew neck then I'd wear it probably more but I don't know the neckline is just driving me away and then they have this kind of like long sweater kind of sweater dress this one i've had it for a few years already i wore it a few times actually no it's more than a few times i wore it a lot i'd say eventually i outgrew like the style of it i do love that it's like this and then this like thingy at the bottom i just kind of got over it so that's one of the reasons i haven't worn it just because it has this and the fabrics did start to peel up a bit but other than that i mean i love how comfy it is so you know what this one i might just try to turn into a sweater to like a shirt make it shorter 
So this one might be like a little project. Up next is this sweater, not sweater, this long sleeve shirt that I have right here. And this one is fitted and it's kind of like ribbed. Um, this one I've had for I think two years and I would wear it all the time because this color is my absolute favorite during the fall. I would wear it all the time. But this year I just didn't really wear it besides like a few times around the house. Um, other than that I just kind of, you know, I've, I've had it for a few years so I just kind of got over it. And I just didn't, you know, wear it. I gravitated more towards like my other, um, other shirts that I have. So I think it's time to part ways with this one. But I absolutely love the color of this one. But I think it's just, you know, time to move on. Alright guys, so that was my entire closet declutter. Um, I still have quite a few things, but I feel like I got a, rid of a lot of things um, and made m more room for new things, especially with the new year coming up. I think it's important to, you know, get go through your things, get rid of those things that you just don't need. Things that I just, you know, I know we can get very, like, emotionally attached to things of which I'm guilty of because, you know, I'll see a sweater and I'm like, oh my goodness, this sweater is you know I got one this time or you know blah 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 I don't know so I usually get emotionally attached with things which kind of makes me hoard things at one point or another so I think it's important to look through your things and just get rid of those things that just don't bring you any happiness that you just haven't worn um, in a few months few years it and you're gonna make room for new things especially for the new year you know make room for new things and so I hope this video inspired you to kind of do your own closet declutter and if you want to see more videos like this because I also you know I can also declutter my house because I have a few storage closets where I just kind of shove things in there which I need to stop but anyway so if you want to see more videos like this please hit the thumbs up button and before you leave please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video bye Thank you.